Hey, what's going on guys? Kyle here today. So today's video is of course about my MSI GTX 970s, which are of course in SI. More importantly, the actual bottom card itself. About five months ago, I decided to replace the thermal compounds on these graphics cards due to overheating problems. And I wasn't sure which one to use, so I used MX4 on the top card and Cool Laboratories Liquid Pro on the bottom card. Of course, Cool Laboratories Liquid Pro is a liquid type of metal. What does unfortunately eat away at other types of metals such as aluminium. So today we're going to be popping that cooler off to see if it's actually damaged, of course, my nickel copper heat plate on the cooler itself and most importantly the actual GPU die itself so let's get started so guys this is the 970 with the cool laboratory liquid pro on that I'm going to remove today of course check if it's actually caused any damage to the core because there's been reports of it uh, burn eating metal and stuff so it's but more aluminium this has actually got a copper heat pipe and plate so it shouldn't be too bad but one thing I must add though, like I said in my last actual video we were doing this five months ago, I can't stand why these didn't have back plates. Come on, you got to admit guys, you got this sexy twin frozen 5 uh, cooler and you got no back plate, it just doesn't make sense. But and if you're actually wondering what it looks like, Liquid Pro comes in a little syringe, very thin, has like a needle point where you actually pull it on. So very good stuff I must add, but get on the resistors and you're buggering. Now I'm going to be using some pliers for this first because I don't want to break the warranty sticker as you can see there just in case anything does happen I can put some compound on and you're probably screaming at, at right now guys thinking what the hell am I doing but hey I'm a bit OCD so I'm just going to twist it a bit there we go it's come undone so nothing too harm there I just got a theory that if I put it back on and something does go wrong with the card I put some crappy compound on and they'll never know but they probably will they probably will know but I'm not worried anyway so we're just going to undo it all. It's actually very easy to replace compound if you're wondering how to do it. Just literally four screws. Some coolers have, of course, the back plate we have to undo many more, but no back plate on this, so it comes off pretty easy indeed. So we're going to get all the screws out. I actually got the um, core laboratory as well on my CPU, and it's doing a fine job of cooling that, but God knows if it's actually damaging that either. But we'll find out when we actually pop the cooler off. I must add the guys little connector here. Well, I did loosen prior to actually point on record. You just pop that off and do that. So the moment of truth, actually taking it over and seeing what it looks like. I have to go this way. I'm actually quite interested. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. I must add, from the Liquid Pro, what's a liquid metal, doesn't look too bad. Don't know if you can actually see it. You can see it's not too bad. There's that there. Actually, nice and evenly spread. Now, when the first time I did this, I actually put this kind of stuff on around the actual core. You see, the, you get like little resistors there. It actually spilt over and touched these bottom ones here and the card itself would not boot up and at the time I was bricking it thinking I'd blew my card up like it's earthed out or shorted or something but luckily I wiped it off and it actually fired up and been using it for five months so that's a caution guys if you actually want to use the uh, cool laboratory. But all I'm going to do today is just literally replace it with MX4 but I'm actually quite shocked that there doesn't appear to be any damage on it but we're going to have a look. We're going to see if it's caused any damage to that GPU core. If it marked it or not. It's quite hard to get this stuff off. As you can see, it's like metal. See the metal there, look. It doesn't appear to. Let's get some Arctic Clean Thermal Material Remover. This stuff's brilliant as well. And then you just literally put a dab on it. Got any left? There we go. This stuff's really, really nice. Should get it all off. So we're back, guys. I unfortunately had to stop the video because that liquid pro by Cool Laboratory was so hard to get off the die, and of course the copper heat, uh, copper nickel copper heat pipe and the plate is so hard to get off. But anyway, we got it off. So here. Now, has it started eating away at the metal? Now, unfortunately, as you can hopefully see in the uh, 
on the camera there where it says Taiwan if it focuses you know focus you can see it right there do you see it right there there you go where it says Taiwan you can see it's just starting to eat away I can't get that off and it's actually damaged the actual shiny surface not really it's still smooth but actually damaged it so it's definitely had a chemical reaction against that and you can see there that staining mark there I cannot get that stain off and that stain was not there prior to actually applying this stuff five months ago so five months managed to stain that and of course mark the core i'm not too worried though because it's still nice and smooth and should have no effect on the cooling but just to make, take note guys if you use cool laboratory in the future make sure you're aware it could eat metals now they say oh it eats nick uh, copper and stuff but of course it does not so we're going to put an mx4 back on today though because this is my favorite stuff and it's all around safe and to be honest the difference between this and this uh, between mx4 and cool laboratory is bloody one or two c anyway for my testing on the, on the last video where i did this so there's no reason to use that really because it's just going to damage your card but anyway let's start applying so i like to um on graphics cards apply a little bit in the center now on cpu i would simply just apply some in the center like that slap the cooler scrape back on and away you go but unfortunately it's a gpu and you need to spread it now a lot of um, a lot of thermal compounds you tend to get a spreader with so if you get a spreader you can use it but I like to do it the old school way get my thumb out or finger should I say in this case and just spread that nice even layer over the top now the downside of doing this method you could potentially get air bubbles but I've never had that personally so I won't worry about it but there we go nicely spread across it as you can see, don't need to worry if it does go onto them resistors around the core. And that's it, jobs are good. And all you got left to do is simply put the core. So we're going to connect that little MSI logo LED up there, just wraps around. Now, what I like to do, like I did on my previous video, is I like to spin it around like this way and actually drop it on so you know it can definitely go on. Great, and all we've got to do is line them holes up like that, hold it down, and put the screws in. And it's as simple as that. If I can get them in. There we go. But yes, I'm actually quite shocked. To be honest, I wasn't expecting it to uh, damage it, to be honest. But I always have crashes as well. And I'm not sure if it's the driver issues, SLI, I do overclock these cars quite high. Or is it because of this? Because when I first put it on, like I said, it wouldn't boot. It wouldn't, and I had to do uh, reseat it. I think it did twice. I think I actually did before I got it to boot again. So you don't have to tighten these up too tight. Just nip them, and they got that trusty one. Now this is a bit OCD for myself. Most people just take that sticker off, to be honest, and just. Uh, because the warranty probably avoid anyway since you take the cooler off so uh, but just for a peace of mind I guess I'm going to do it this way but that's it really guys so make sure that's tightened up and you're probably going to cringe again I do apologise if you're thinking what the hell has he got some snap on uh, finger so we're just going to do it until it's tight and there we go what I've got left to do is plug that thermal, uh, the actual PWM fans. And there we go. It's simple as that. New compounds on. Should run just as good as the Liquid Pro. But of course, without eating away at my core and of course the couple nickel heat pipe. So there we go guys, the graphics card itself is back in this system, powered up and ready to go. So I'm going to go and play some games now and get out of here. I kept you long enough, approaching the 10 minutes mark, it wasn't meant to be this long. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. And of course, please comment below what you think and of course like the video. And I guess I'll uh, catch you in the next video guys, so see ya.